Hi everybody, we are excited to announce the general availability of an enterprise grade security feature that's customer managed key. Before we dive into CMK, let's talk about managed identities. Managed identities eliminate the need for credential management. Assume you have an app service and an Azure database for MySQL flexible server. For the application deployed in the app service to communicate with the database, it has to keep some sort of a credential to prove its identity let's say a connection string. But when you think about it, these are all Azure resources that reside in the Azure fabric, right? So why do we have to store the credentials? This is addressed by Azure managed identities. So basically the app service must first authenticate to Azure AD to obtain a token, and then it connects to the database using that token. Managed identities in a nutshell, basically eliminates the complexities of key management. There are two types of managed identities, system assigned and user assigned. The main distinction is that a system assigned identity is linked to an Azure resource, whereas a user assigned identity exists separately from the resource. Azure database for MySQL flexible server currently supports only user assigned managed identity. Azure database for MySQL flexible server by default provides encryption for the data at rest now with customer managed keys you can bring in your own key for an additional layer of encryption let me walk you through how all of this works a data encryption key is used by the azure database for mysql service to encrypt and decrypt the data cmk aka the key encryption key is used to encrypt or decrypt the data encryption key so that's like encryption inside encryption CMK is an asymmetric key that is stored in a customer-owned and customer-managed Azure Key Vault instance. And to configure data encryption using CMK, all that you need to do is link the user-managed identity to the server and specify the Azure Key Vault and the key to use it. To summarize, uh, the key benefits that CMK brings in are A, double encryption, B is a full control over the data access, permission management, as well as key life cycles. Now let's do a quick demo of how to enable CMK. So let's get started. First, you would need to create a user managed identity. Click on create, enter the subscription, enter the resource group, select the region where you would like to deploy, enter a name, Click on review plus create. Once the validation is successful, you click on create. Okay, so the deployment is complete. Now let's head to the key vault. Inside the key vault, you come to the key section. Uh, I've already created a key, but you can always go ahead and generate and import a new one if required. Then let's go to access policies. Click on create to add the UMI that you have created. The permissions that are required are get, list, wrap key, and unwrap key. These four permissions are required for your UMI. Click on next. You need to add the UMI you have created. Click on next. Click on create. Yeah, so I've added the permissions that is required. Okay, now let's go to my flexible server. So under security, you can see data encryption. That is your customer managed keys. Click on change identity. And then you go ahead and select the identity that you would like to add. You also need to select a key. So you click on change key. Select the key wall. And the key of your choice. Click on select. You click on save to go ahead and enable CMK on the server. Yeah, so we have successfully enabled uh, data encryption on the server. When you click on the identity pane, you can see the UMI that is being used. And when you hover here, you'll be able to see that this identity is used for data encryption. To make changes, you come back to data encryption page. You can always click on change identity to change your identity and click on select a key to change the key. Hope you like the demo. So for more details on CMK, check out the announcement blog and the Microsoft Docs. So try out the feature today and let us know of the feedback.